Hoggers. I work with a micronutrient initiative, an NGO committed to finding solutions to hidden hunger. Diarrhea disease affects more children than any other illness, and if left untreated, can be deadly. In the 1990s, there was huge progress thanks to ORT, oral rehydration therapy. However, despite initial momentum, there's been little progress in recent years, and one million children still die annually. Recent advancements in micronutrient nutrition have led to great hope in the area of diarrhea. Zinc, along with ORT, can help children to get better faster and even save lives and prevent future episodes of diarrhea. Although ORT and zinc have been recognized as a life-saving intervention, it will only be beneficial if caregivers are using it. In many contexts, diarrhea is so common that parents see it as part of daily life and don't seek treatment for their children. Romelia Quim, a mother of five in Guatemala, has nursed her children through countless episodes. When her two youngest most recently had diarrhea and she received ORT and zinc, she said they got better much faster. My idea for Grand Challenges Canada is to work with the governments of Guatemala and look at the best ways for delivering these life-saving interventions. We propose to use a social marketing approach to pilot two packaging methods a simple co-packaging of ORT and zinc in a simple plastic bag, and Cajita Salva Vida are a life-saving box with promotional messages. In addition to packaging, we want to look at how care caregivers receive ORT and zinc, and to see the potential role of female community health volunteers to ensure cases are treated properly. The information from this pilot will be used by the Ministry of Health in Guatemala to make critical decisions around how ORT and zinc are given to children. For mothers like Romelia Quirk, this will mean fewer cases of diarrhea, less work when her children are ill, and happier and healthier children. 